Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And we are here today with our all-time favorite UTL Gamma Plus, which is 1 kVA MPPT Solar PCU. And you know what? The month of September is already here. So the date is 6-09, that is it's 6th September already. And the month of September is absolutely interesting because there are lots of dark cloudy days as well as there are frequent rain showers and plus there is a bit of dance from the sun gods, I mean bright sunlight as well. So here I wanted to see that uh, what kind of solar generation and what kind of power savings can we get from this kind of uh, solar energy setup. And speaking about the setup, if you are interested in knowing the detailed setup tour of this machine, then you can find the video over here in the i button or one in the description below. So let me quickly uh, run you through this thing. So the machine is a 12 volt machine and it is connected to two batteries of 150 AH each which makes this uh, power bank uh, 300 amperes at uh, 12 volts. Both of the batteries are in parallel. All right. And the test methodology is going to be the same as usual. So the first thing is that the power button of uh, my mains charging plug is always off. So mains energy is not being used at all. This machine runs 24 hours by utilizing solar energy as well as by using the energy from this battery bank. The second thing that uh, we usually do is we take a reading at night and this helps prevent any kind of uh, confusion due to the presence of solar energy. So the time currently is 11 o'clock in the night. The date is 6th September and let's take a look at its display and let's find out the kilowatt hours reading of uh, this uh, machine. And the display shows a lot of uh, parameters. So what I'll do is I'll hit this hold button over here and that stops the display from scrolling for a while and using these keys we can scroll it up and down uh, by the way guys if you want to know how the display works and what do all of these little values mean then there's a dedicated video over here in the corner or in the description which explains the display of this machine in greater detail so let's keep uh, scrolling over here the mains is off of course because this thing is off and let's go forward this is the battery voltage no charging available. This is the load. 28% of load is running exclusively from batteries at this point of time. And the SPV, that is solar panel voltage, is zero because, of course, uh, yeah, we don't have sunlight at 11 p.m. in the night. Right, guys? Okay. So going further, again, zero amperes from the solar panels. And this is the KWH reading, which uh, we'll have to memorize. The reading today is 744.6 and this reading is on 6th September uh, during the night time. So this is something which uh, you will have to memorize and we will again meet at a later date and then we can find out the solar savings generated by this uh, cute little machine. So what you guys need to do is uh, sit in the time machine and how to activate the time machine? Well, let me tell you, there's a nice little like button down below. Go ahead, press it and the time machine will be activated and we'll meet again after a few days. Yeah, that's great. Hey guys, welcome back and 10 days have gone by since the last reading and the date today is 1609 as you can see here on the mobile phone that is 16th September and the time is good old 11 p.m. in the night that is 2306. Let's take a look at the display of this uh, UTL Gamma Plus and since this display keeps scrolling, I'm going to hit the hold button like so. So here goes the hold feature and now let's proceed to scroll towards the kilowatt hours window on this display. And the kilowatt hours that we see over here is 761.3 and if you remember the last reading which was 744.6 by subtracting these values we get an answer of 16.7 units which is saved over 10 days or you can also say that it is saving 1.67 units per day now if we project these figures for the month by multiplying it by 30 we get an average savings of uh, roughly 50 units per month during the weather of September. And guys, let me remind you that the amount of savings you get on an off-grid solar PCU also depends on the load. I have explained the phenomenon in this particular video. You can go ahead and check it out. If your load is not heavy enough, then solar PCU will generate less amount of 
energy and yes if you want to check more videos like this because i have tested the performance of utl gamma plus in every possible imaginable weather you can find all of those videos down below in the solar energy playlist so that was it for this neat little video guys i hope you liked it take care and have a nice day